everybody this is the worksheet 17 CPLs for one chapter three um, odd answers worked out so we are going to graph the inequalities on the number line so it looks like I'll add four to both sides so you get to 12 and then I get x is less than four when I divide by three so you go to four put an open dot and shade it to the left an interval notation would say it's going from negative infinity to three both rounded brackets rounded brackets because we're at that, oh, should have been a four there, excuse me, four there. And then number three, we want to know if that, if negative one comma two is a solution, so I'm going to plug my x and y values in, so I'm going to get negative five, because I'm plugging the negative in for x, plus 14, and we want to know if that's less than 10, so that gives me nine is less than or equal to 10, so yes, that is one of the solutions. Number seven, explain using the graph of the inequality why the point three negative two is not a solution. So three negative two is three negative two is here. So it's outside the shaded region. So that's why it's not a solution. So you want it to fall in the shaded region. Find the points, which points are a solution. So we have zero, five. Zero, five is there, so yes. Zero, five is a solution. Negative three, negative four, negative three, negative four is down here. So yes, and then 5, negative 2 is down here, so no on that one. Okay, we want to graph the inequality, so we want y is less than negative 6. So think about y equals 6 is a, vert or a horizontal line through negative 6. So it's here, and this should have been a dotted line, not a solid line. Okay, and then I want values that are less than it, so I'm going to shade underneath because that, those are values that are less than it. Number 13, let's go ahead and graph the linear equation. So we got plus 2. I'm going to go up 2, right 1. It's dotted. And that's how I should have made that one up there. And then let's pick our test point. 0, 0 is a good test point, so we'll plug 0, 0 in. So I get 0 is less than 2. That's true. So that's the side the 0, 0 is on, so we shade that side. Number 15, we can do the cover method, so our x value is going to be 6, and we're going to divide by negative 2 to get our y value, so we're going to get uh, negative 3. It's a solid line because it has the equal there. I'm going to pick 0, 0 as my test point, so plug 0, 0 in, so I get 0 is greater than 6, or equal to 6, and that's not true, so we shade the other side. 17, we want to get the equation, so it looks like I have a b value of 1, and a slope of up 1, or up 2, right 3, so I have a slope of 2 over 3x, uh, plus the 1, and now we have to change our equal sign to an inequality sign, so it's going to have the equal there, so I want values that are less than, so I'm going to make my grid like that, and you can check with the test point and say, hey, let's make sure that we have this right way. If not, we won't. So let's see if zero, zero gives us a true statement. So zero is less than one, that's true. So that one is fine.